everyone, I'm Anna from Airplant Shop, and in this video, we are going to be discussing a frequently asked question and highly requested video about how to determine if an air plant is dead or is my air plant dead. I'm gonna start with the perfect example, which is this guy. This is very dead, and I have in my personal life had friends and family ask about a plant that looks like this, so it's not an untypical question but this is very dead, it's all brown, you can tell it's not hydrated at all. What I like to do is if you squeeze it a little bit, you can tell that it's really dried out, there's no volume to it, there's no moisture in this plant, so unfortunately it is a lost cause. And then there's something like this plant which does have some green to it, and you can see that it recently bloomed and bloomed out, so there's still some seeds that are attached to the faded bloom. But if you look closely, you can see that there is a new leaf coming from the center that is brown, and it even kind of has some speckles to it. So unfortunately, this is either already dead or basically dead. I can even give it a tug and it still is holding on. So maybe it still has some life, but it's on its way out because the brand new leaves are already dead. So unfortunately, this one is also a goner. And then next I have two similar examples. This one is kind of harder to tell. So this one has definitely some new growth on the center and some green to it. So I determined this to be alive. You can do that same squish test and it is definitely more dense and has moisture to it. So it is alive, but you can see it has a ton of totally dead leaves on the outside, which these are easy to just pull right off. And then you can clean this one up and it'll look almost brand new. So it is worth saving. Whereas something like this, this one does have a little bit of density to it. However, just like the one with the spent bloom, it has some maybe fungus to it or it got burnt or something. It has some spots on the inside of the leaves and the outside. And I would say that this is unfortunately a goner and not worth trying to revive. Even if you cleaned it up, to me, it's not really worth it. So you can visit airplantshop.com and buy a new Talancia Abdita. On the other hand, we have this perfect looking Talancia Abdita. It's a young Talancia Abdita, so it should be in its prime. However, we did a, a gentle tug test, which is what we recommend to our customers, which is very gently pulling on a center leaf. And if it easily comes out, that means unfortunately it is a victim of root rot, which means somehow water collected at the base and then it rotted out. So unfortunately this one is not worth trying to save and you'll need to get a new one. And then another example of the tug test is for this really older Talancia abdita, which looks pretty rough in my opinion. You can tell it's pretty dehydrated because the leaves are curling into themselves. And if you do another simple tug test, you can already see both of the inside leaves came right out. So unfortunately, it is also the victim of root rot and cannot be saved. Okay, and then for our final example, this is really classic and you can see it's kind of already falling apart from the base. And if you look really closely, it's really mushy and wet. That's a better visual of what root rot really looks like and giving it just like the tiniest movement, it comes right out. And even, this is kind of gross, but a perfect way to tell that root rot is happening is it's a little stinky. So it really is rotting from the inside out. So this one is unfortunately dead. Some plants that are victims of root rot don't have such an obvious external look to them of looking dead but this one just looks extremely dead. So unfortunately, this one is not salvageable either. Another example are these Circe nata, which have little spots to them, which I don't believe are fungus spots. I think that maybe these got watered and then were in direct sunlight. And basically the water acted as a magnifying glass. So the sun literally burned them, but these are totally salvageable and if you just let them grow out, then once the leaves become older, then you can pull those off and then you won't see those blemishes. So I would say continue to care for these as normal and they will eventually grow out and be perfect circinatus. 
That concludes our video on how to determine if your air plant is dead or alive. I really hope that this helps you at home because I know it can be kind of challenging, especially if you're a new air plant owner. If you have any further questions, make sure to leave them in the description and we'll get back to you or reach out to our customer service team at service at airplantshop.com.